it's a bit like a tea piece with two holes in for tea bowls. This will be standing straight up and the idea is to fit the extruder somewhere up here on this end. So it will be standing up here. Instead of going down it will be up in a way and I'm hoping that it will be easier to like fake filament in and stuff like that. That is the basic concept of doing this. Haven't tried this out yet. been going about three and three quarters of an hour, about another quarter an hour or so, half an hour to go, so it got squeaking threaded rods, I think they did threaded rods, so there's a turn, 200 on the nozzle, 60 on the heat bed, and some bit of Elmer's glow stick on this heat bed here, I found that works very well. I have to use a spatula to get the part off through taps with a hammer under the edge. Then it comes off easily. easily. See that squid? And there's plenty of grease on here. You probably see some of the grease actually on the top of that threaded rod there. I'm going to wipe that off just now, actually, that little bit there. Yeah. Every time it moves down the level, well not every time, I think it seems to have eased off recently. So I'll come back when this is finished. I might even fit it up here and show you if I think it's going to work or not. If it's not going to work then I won't show you. <laughs> I don't know if there's much iteration will be needed. So basically the Joel gave in my case extruder, uh, feeder, should call it really, for feeding, not for extruding, it's for feeding, it does extrude, I suppose, filament, this holding tube in this case, will be screwed on here, this end, and on the other side, and two T-nuts boards into the 2020 that goes along here. That is the plan. Because at the moment you have to reach down under here. And it's very hard to see this hole where the filament has to go in in this uh, feeding mechanism. I have put Mark on here recently to uh, try and help me line it up at least this way. Up here, I'll be able to see it better. That is the idea, anyway. Right, I'll just uh, so it's a bit like a tea piece to give it strength. Should be, be strong enough. Gold PLA. Reality end of five plus. Right, I've fitted the Creality feeding mechanism because I don't see any advantage having the dual feeding gear. And let's see if this is so the run out feeding mechanism is here. One of the balls fell on the floor for that, so I'll just put another ball. And that lines up straight straight into it like that and that's touching the gears there no problems there as so long as you're putting it in reasonably straight just a second settings refuel no go to 50 
should be a bit warm. Would have lost the losers. That's going to go down to 95 or 121. A little bit typex on the end of here. But this has a bit of shaft sticking out, so we can put like a wheel thing on there to indicate that's turning and to help possibly you turn it by hand. This does have a flat shaft on it, well a flat side on this so make sure at least one of the, there's two grub screws on here. So, yes and it is going quickly. And now it will go slowly. I think there's a bit of a gap in here about 100 millimeters, give or take a bit before it reaches the other filament that's still inside the boarding tube. So there's like the stand thing, the mountain bracket. Two T nuts round the back onto this 2020 section, quite near the uh, carriage stepper there, just to the left of that, using some of my clips to clip up the hot end sort of cable thing, and that's above, so now not having to reach under the bed to try and feed it in all the time, to feed it in here, straight line as I showed you, well to this feeding mechanism, the genuine quality feeding mechanism. Bob's your uncle. Seems a lot easier. There's nothing much more to say except I'm going to work on the filament spool. I'll do that next I think, the filament spool feeding, uh, well filament spool mountain. So I'm just talking about this tube, it's not too bad, it's just, that's going to be above the print just there. I mean it is supported a bit by the boarding tube going in that helps keep it up to a certain extent. What's it like there? Slight bit of catching. Just moving steady and slow because your steppers can generate electricity when they move. Seems okay, seems to be able to move. Let's try it right in this right hand front corner. Yep, and it can reach. So as you see I've got the filament spool this way around. That's on my was on as I mentioned on my view spool idea. So it was on here, this can roll, two skate bearings. So I'm going to move this over to the left, this skateboard bearing thing. Do another model, well modify this quite a bit, not have the arm on basically. This arm doesn't need it because this filament spool wants to be over to the left. Now wiring, the wires can't be tucked in when they're coming out the right hand side of the control box here. So I'm almost definitely going to drill a hole in using a step drill somewhere near this mains cable. You want a bit of distance because you want to watch out for current jumping and leakage and such like. Uh, probably about down here, but lower down. About a 20 millimeter hole per grommet in there and wire it in so that the filament runout sensor is coming in this side and the stepper motor cables are coming in the left hand side 
because then the, at the moment they're sort of coming up from the control board here and going up round there which is taking up an awful lot of space so they'll, they'll come like over this way which will be shorter that might give enough space to do some cable management with these cables right um, oh the only other thing is technically speaking I have to remove this dual gear feeding symbol so we've got dual gear feeding I've got this dual gear get some focus on that dual gear feeding symbol be able to touch and big tree tech symbol on here these are glued on with you who glue so I'll have to get that off I might have to use some isopropyl alcohol because now I haven't got a dual gear when you've got a single gear and I don't think there's any way of putting the taking the two gears off and putting them on there so as I can tell right no yakking so that seems to uh, be much better being able to feed the filament into the feeding mechanism there's a spoon 